Hello and welcome to episode 37 of series 1 of Become a Legend Story Mode. Now we're in the starting lineup for a massive away leg at Atletico Madrid in the Champions League. It's the first knockout round. Jack Harrison starts, as I said, he's on an upward green arrow as well. And just before we get into the game, uh, I've been having a few more chats with, I think, probably the, well, I'm going to say third best mum in the world, because obviously there's my mum, and then there's my wife, the mum of my daughter. But then after that, it has to be Debbie Harrison, Jack Harrison's mum, who uh, I chat to on Twitter occasionally. I know it's an amazing thing that's come out of this series. I didn't expect it. It's been a real honour to chat with her. And uh, although, unfortunately, as I expected might be the case, uh, Jack obviously can't comment on this series. Uh, he's a New York City FC player. He can't be talking about how happy he is at Man United or how his career is going in this. But what we do know is, thanks to Debbie, is that he does watch it. He has watched it. She forwards the uh, episodes on to him. And uh, as far as I'm aware, he's enjoying it. But what Debbie did provide us with is this great photo. This might be an exclusive. I've never seen it anywhere of Jack in his uh, academy days at Manchester United. I think he's 10 years old in this photo. So, uh, yeah, it was meant to be. It was meant to have Jack back at Manchester United. And today, he plays in his first ever Champions League game. It's a historic day for Jack Harrison. It's a historic day for this series. And, uh, yeah, first leg, we need to come out swinging. So we're playing in a very strong team. Mkhitaryan and Mata alongside us. We're on an upward arrow as well, which is good. And then the uh, holding midfield duo of Pogba and Fellaini on blue arrows. Anthony Martial, we've yet to really link up with, but hopefully we can in this game. We're going to be going up against ex-Chelsea, Felipe Luiz, who's playing at left back. Uh, yeah, he's uh, not the quickest, so that's maybe something we can try and push him with. But obviously an incredibly strong team, Atletico Madrid, so uh, it's going to be a tricky game. Griezmann starts on the bench, as he seems to tend to. So as far as landmarks go and become a legend, this has got to be one of the big ones. Obviously, we've played in a World Cup. We've won a World Cup. Um, you know, we've, we've played in a few different domestic leagues, but... To play in the uh, top club competition in world football is a massive honour. And uh, hopefully Jack can uh, step up his game, which is definitely what he did in the World Cup. He played well above and beyond what people would have expected from him. Hopefully he can do the same today. We started to see some signs of improvement towards the end of the last episode, but he's still really yet to make a huge impact on this side. Luke Shaw with the poor clearance falls to Carrasco. He whips the ball in looking for Gaitan. We're able to get it away, and Fellaini now. Fellaini will find Harrison. He'll lay it off to Damian. Then he's on his bike. Ah, oh, it's a nice ball in. Looking for the pace of Harrison. He got there ahead of Felipe Luiz. The touch just took him back into trouble, though. Oh, Pogba dispossessed by Thiago. No foul is called. Ball into the box for Torres. He clashes with Fellaini. Luckily, nothing called. Long ball looking for Harrison is a really poor throw there from De Gea. And Atletico Madrid will be straight back at us. Torres now into the... That's good defending there. Merit by Mata into Harrison. Lays it off into Anthony Martial. He goes wide looking for Damian. Can he find a ball into Jack Harrison? He can. Takes it under and it's sloppy. And there's deflections galore. But Jack Harrison will claim that one. And on his first start in the Champions League, he gets a goal. It's really early on in this first half. What a start that is for Harrison. We said that there were signs of promise. And uh, the way he held his run there, just avoided the offside trap, was really nicely done. As you can see here, he just had to just, like, pinch his run in. And uh, the keeper came out, did a pretty good job, but Harrison bundles it through. And we're up here in a crucial Champions League matchup. Let's take another look at that. Darmian with a nicely weighted ball in. Harrison, decent first touch, hits it with his right foot. Keeper does well, but not enough. Harrison wants it down the line. Luke Shaw will find him with it. Got Jimenez with him. Will he put a ball back into the box? He will. Martial was there. Couldn't find the finish. It's not cleared yet. Pogba will be fouled there, surely, referee. No, no foul. Harrison wants it down the line. It does find him eventually. He'll look up, put a ball in. Oh, Juan Mata was the only one in the box looking for that. Martial dinks it into Harrison. Oh, that is an incredible tackle. Just preventing Harrison putting the trigger on a volley there. Eric Bailly over this one, and he'll flight it in looking... The head of Anthony Martial. It's fallen to Harrison. He'll hit it first time. He probably had more time than that. Head in the hands there from Harrison. Couldn't quite pull that one off. Don't think he expected the ball to fall to him. Harrison heads it on. Into the path of Mkhitaryan. Into Anthony Martial. Great feet from him. Looking for the back hill. Into Harrison. He's looking for him the whole time in this match. Martial really wants to link up with Harrison. But it was Damian who provided the ball. Which uh, slipped through Harrison on goal. And by hook or by crook. We did get the first goal of this game. And we're up. In the away leg, it's a huge goal from Harrison. Doesn't matter how it went in, they all count. 
but possession wise we're absolutely dominating this one we haven't had as many shots as maybe we should considering how on top we are but Atletico Madrid 60% pass completion is uh wow that's incredibly low so two minutes left can we see this one out for a massive massive start to this two-legged battle against Atletico Madrid Carrasco looking to put a ball in but De Gea gets there ahead of his fellow Spaniard Fernando Torres and with uh, three minutes left of extra time hopefully we can hang on to this one the away goal obviously will be huge for us. Harrison very pleased to be the one to score it as well. And he's putting the pressure on still late in the game. Still full of energy. And that's it here. Whoa, what a win that is for Manchester United. And it came from an early first half goal from Jack Harrison. Bundled it in. Uh, Atletico Madrid really came into their own in the second half. Especially with Griezmann coming on. But they just couldn't find the net. Couldn't really find any chances at all to be honest. Yeah, not a single shot on target. I mean, we really slowed down in that second half, but we contained them well. And uh, yeah, really confident win for Manchester United. Darmian gets man of the match. That's unfortunate considering we scored the goal. Only a six for Harrison. I guess Darmian set the goal up and maybe got some interceptions or whatever. So although not the best performance, first knockout round, we've got the win. That's what counts. And we've got the away goal. Attacking prowess and body control have just gone up 85 and 82. 85 body control is massive. We need to be trying to dribble more. We've got the speed, explosive power and the body control that is unmatched. We need to be using that. We're not pushing him enough, I don't think. I think we're passing too early, too soon sometimes. And I think that might be to his downfall, really. We need to be more aggressive. But obviously, after that goal scored in the uh, Champions League to see us go ahead in the knockout round, uh, we're not in the squad today for the match against Watford. Don't know what that is, but uh, that's fine. We'll just keep moving on. Our manager approval rating is still pretty low. We knew this was going to happen, but we do win, and it's a massive win, and we go top of the league again. Excellent. Things are looking a little bit more rosy now than they were at the end of the last episode. We've got a win in the Champions League, and we're back on top of the table. So a week later, and we're up against Jack's old club, Aston Villa, and we're on the bench. Excellent. Ready to come on at any time. Aston Villa, they've dropped off. Yeah, they've dropped off massively. They're out of the top five. Not sure where they are. Let's go and have a look. So since uh, since losing Jack Harrison, Aston Villa have dropped off dramatically. They're in seventh place now. They're falling. They are sinking like a brick at the moment. Almost out of the Europa League spots as well. Liverpool, Chelsea, all pushing them for that final Europa League spot. But they're in seventh today. And although Harrison isn't going to be playing, he'll uh, he'll be wanting to prove a point when he comes. No, actually, he won't be wanting to prove a point. He's got nothing to prove. He left this side in the lurch, and uh, it's really cost them obviously. But Harrison at least makes the bench today, and he's on an upward arrow as well. So a return to Villa Park. Will there be boos? Of course there would be boos. Jack Harrison certainly won't have many fans left here at Aston Villa. He came for, what was it, just over a season. Uh, propelled them to greatness, of course he did. They were challenging for the league. Uh, up to pretty close to when he ended up leaving for Manchester United. Um, but they've dropped, as I said, dropped massively since then. And these Villa fans, uh, well, they won't be impressed with Jack Harrison's push for trophies, for, uh, for glory at the expense of uh, any sort of loyalty. So, you know, not expecting a fanfare or a red carpet to be rolled out, but he's on the bench today, probably taking some flack from some angry Brummies as we speak. Anyway, we'll join this game if anything happens, but hopefully in the second half we'll have Harrison on. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, and it's Jack Grealish, that guy. Part of the uh, JJJ, the Triple J, the J-Cubed lineup that they used to be. And uh, oh, we had so many jokes about Grealish, so many missed chances, so many missed opportunities that we laid on a plate for him. But he's come back to haunt us here in a big way, and it's Jordan Ayew. What a player he is. Into Labanza Dio, who's uh, filling in for Harrison, I guess. Who finds Grealish, and it's an easy finish for him, with Darmian nowhere to be seen and De Gea beaten. Oh, dearie me. So there we are, half-time here at Villa Park, and no reply from United after that early goal from none other than Jack Grealish. The one that we probably least expected to uh, be scoring against us. No shots on target yet from United. Will we see Harrison in this second half? Well, I expect we probably will. Hopefully attacking mid. Looks like we are going to see him out on the left hands. Interesting. Interesting. Short one there. Harrison can get to it. Shot comes in. De Gea spills. Out for another corner. Ball comes in. Grealish jumps for it. But we should be able to get away here. Pogba. Yes, finds Harrison. He's got Ibrahimovic to look for in the centre. He goes short, though, to Mikatari, and the ball back to him is poor. That was a poor ball. Oh, what is that? Harrison, good hustle. 
Long ranger now from Harrison. Hits it. Oh, Pascalini's left hand post. I haven't used that long ranger stat very often. Debatable whether that was a foul or not. Little back heel return there from Ibrahimovic. He hits it. It's pretty solidly wide there. Pogba puts it in. Harrison's made a great run with the header. Westwood clears. Ibrahimovic back in and he misses. Can't believe that. Harrison with a great run. Splitting the defence. He had so much space. It's off the bar in the end. Oh, couldn't get it on target. 68 minutes gone. We're running out of time here. We need the first goal before we can get the second and the win. Now Harrison can bring it forward. Jack Harrison. Got Lingard out to his right. Or is that Memphis Depay out on the right? Looking for the run of Ibrahimovic through the centre. Lovely ball into Harrison. He won't get there. Shibola. What a covering run that was from the defensive midfielder. And that could be our last chance here as 83rd minute comes around. Ah, oh, I don't believe that. Harrison, good tackle though on Westwood. Ex-teammate Harrison really trying to drag United out of this one. Harrison will punch it into the box looking for Ibrahimovic. Now we'll go, whoa, what is that? No, <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. He lays it off, he wants it back now through the centre. Just to push it out to Ibrahimovic with the effort on the left foot. Great save by Galini, who's kept them in this one. Oh, I can't believe that. Great run there from Harrison. Just wanted it back from Mkhitaryan. Took it first time. Pokes it into Ibrahimovic. Incredible save. Batted away by Galini. Oh, <laughs> and we lose to Villa. Well, that was, uh, that was unexpected and incredibly annoying for Harrison to come back to his old side. And he had chances, had chances to draw it level in the second half. United should have done a lot better in this game. Um, we came on. We made a nuisance of ourselves, at least. Ibrahimovic should have scored at the end. Galini had an absolute blinder. Man of the match. And, uh, yeah, deservedly so for the Villa keeper. But that's not going to be any good for our title challenge. So, to chance of, do you want to come back? Do you want to come back? Jack Harrison, you can't come fucking back. Yeah, something like that. I'm sure the Villa fans were really enjoying that loss. As we uh, drop off the top again, we're battling with the uh, bitter rivals, Manchester City. Tottenham still in the in the uh, in the conversation, definitely in third. Everton, Arsenal, fifth and sixth. They're well out of it. Ah, oh, gutted. Exactly the same goal difference as well. But now we're two points behind City. We need them to slip up. I don't know if we're going to be playing them again. I'm not sure. Tricky home game here. Leicester City. Will Harrison be involved? He's been putting in some good performances, but it's only a bench position for him again today. At least he's in the squad. We're up to 54% manager trust level. It's taking a long time to build that up. I think it's like 1% a game, maybe, if that. Harrison on a sideways arrow. Doesn't get in ahead of Lingard. Ibrahimovic starts. Interesting. Let's get into it. So we're back at Old Trafford. Back at the Theatre of Dreams. We need a, a, we need a comprehensive win against Leicester today to keep the pressure on Manchester City. We can't be dropping points. City will pull away, given the chance. Ibrahimovic gets a start today. We haven't seen that in a while. Martial, obviously dropping out of Jose Mourinho's favour. Harrison's been putting in good performances. I'm surprised that he's not made his way into the side yet, but only at 54% manager trust level. That will come in time. But we don't have much time. That is the problem. So, no goals in this first half at Old Trafford. Manchester United, Leicester City. Still on as even. Let's take a look. It felt like it was pretty even. Yeah, Manchester United have had the shots. Possession pretty equal. Hopefully Harrison will get on in the second half and start to influence the game, as he did against Villa. I feel like when Harrison came on, United were a better side. We're on the right this time. Back in the uh, traditional position. Let's see what we can do. Drink water. First time cross in. Now we can get away. Harrison will take that. But he's only got Ibrahimovic up with him. He's going to look to drive at this difference. Flops there. Harrison. Oh, good challenge in the end. Harrison just held onto it a touch too long. And now they break here, Leicester City. Harrison wants it again. Good turn away from Schlupp. Avoids the second challenge as well. Now Harrison looks to put on the afterburners. Has to cut back inside though. Oh, great footwork from Harrison. Will he get the shot away? No. It's a huge challenge on the edge of the box. Which is such a shame. We haven't seen that sort of running from Harrison in a while. We need to see more of it. He's so quick. Such good footwork. Harrison receives it into feet again. Schlupp with the pressure. But Harrison gets away from him. More great feet there from Harrison. He'll slip it into Zlatan Ibrahimovic with the left foot effort. It's going to fall now to Harrison. Oh, he's under pressure. Gets the shot in. Didn't mean to do that. Should have super cancelled. Fuck! That was it. That was the last chance. Great footwork again from Harrison. We're just not seeing enough of that of him. We need to really push it. Couldn't pull the trigger there. 
and uh, I forgot to cancel that. And we lose the ball. And the game is done now. That's so annoying. Didn't want that in the air, but we can lay it into Martial. No. No, I don't believe this. It's another draw. And United needed a win today. And Harrison did his best. Really, really did his best off the bench. Beating players. Creative play. Nothing like that in the first half, I can promise you. And he gets a 4.5 for his troubles. He did miss chances. But that is harsh. 4.5. How is it 4.5 for fuck's sake? I mean, I don't understand why that's so poor. Two shots both off target. I mean, we played well. That's unfair. No. The slog is turning into a real slog. We needed that win today and now City go four points ahead and we're only now even on points with Tottenham in second. I mean, in third place. Oh, We drop down to 5.9 average rating for this season. That's just not good enough. We're not getting the chances and we're not playing enough minutes. So for the final game of this episode, it's the second leg as we invite Atletico Madrid to Old Trafford. Will Harrison be starting in this game? No, it's a bench appearance again. I can't believe this. We're not getting the chance. We... I mean, we're getting chances on the pitch, but we're not getting the chances to actually play full matches, which is what we need. Harrison's looks so good. I can't believe we got 4.5 in the last one. It's just not fair. We're on a green arrow as well. So back at Old Trafford, we've got the uh, away goal advantage, which could be vital in this game. Atletico Madrid showed absolutely nothing in the last game. So hopefully we can dominate again. Oh, Anthony Martial doubles Manchester United's advantage. That's a crucial goal in this matchup. It's a really well taken one there from the young Frenchman. It's good build up. Who's that? Juan Mata inside. Little layoff. Luke Shaw back out to him. That's a lovely ball from Luke Shaw and it's a really well taken goal. So that's half time here at Old Trafford and United going at the break with a 2 0 aggregate lead. That crucial away goal as well. Scored at Madrid. Uh, Madrid, at least they've had a shot this time, but still the possession really, really low from the Spanish side. Uh, we're winning, so unlikely to see Harrison in the second half, but we'll see, we'll see. Yep, as we expected, no Harrison. We might get on with uh, maybe 10 minutes to go, and that'll be essentially about 30 seconds in real time. But anyway, we'll join the action if anything interesting happens. So 68 minutes, and we're on here, and it's attacking midfield as well for Harrison. That's, that's a nice little touch for us. Ball into the box. Martial will look to get the head down. It falls to Harrison, edge of the box. God, I went to hit that. Button just didn't press. Annoying. Harrison, the attacking midfield genius. He'll spread it wide. Sits it back now. Slips it into Harrison, the outside of the boot. Blocked shot. Oh, well, we made mistakes there. That should really have been a lot simpler. Quickly. Yes, come on. It's got to be now. Harrison, only Godin with him. It's a one on one chance now for Jack Harrison. Got to finish this. Outside of the boot, and he finishes it in classic Jack Harrison style. And the Champions League specialist gets a goal. He had the whole pitch to run there, a whole half. He saw the counter-attack was on. The ball came into Martial, and it didn't look like necessarily would find him, but he did in the end. Only had Godin chasing him down, really. He's got into the position in the centre, and then that is vintage Harrison. Outside of the boot is probably the part of the foot that he scored the most of his goals from. Oh, it's a mistake from our black. It's another one-on-one -on -one chance here for Harrison, and this time he's put it wide. No, went to put his laces through that one. That's unfortunate. Should have had two. Could have had two easily. Oh, no. Thought he was going to craft that with the outside of the boot. Gutted there. Could have had a guaranteed man of the match. Won't be, though. Uh, but it is a win here, and it's a good win for United. 2-0 at home. Doing really well in the Champions League. Can we replicate that form in the league? Well, uh, hopefully we can. It's a comprehensive win as well. A really comprehensive win. Harrison only gets 6.5. Doesn't get him out of the match either. That's, uh, that's disappointing. But we're through the first knockout round. And that's that's big. That's big. If we can win a Champions League, that'll be, that'll be really nice. That'll be a good one to add to the scrapbook. World Cup, Champions League. League still well within our grasp as well. Let's see who we've got in the quarterfinal. Atletico Madrid really rolled over and had their uh, tummy tickled by us. And we get Dortmund. <laughs> A big matchup in Germany there. United definitely not handed a bye. That's going to be tricky. Um, let's just see if we are going to be playing in the Bristol City game. Because if we are, I might carry on with that. Because we've had so few minutes in this episode already. Match day 13. Bristol City, a team that we know well. And Harrison is on the bench. Ah, Well, let's just do it. Let's get it out of the way.
So we are four points behind City. We hugely, hugely need a win as we go to Ashton Gate today. Only up to 55 manager trust level. This is so painful. Well, hopefully if we get on again, we can prove that we are worthy of more starts. Oh, they've made quite a few signings here, Bristol City. Who's that? Serrero? Someone else whose name I don't know. Tammy Abraham on the bench. Marlon Pack playing out on the right. Interesting. They've been busy. Let's get into it. Ashton Gate. Look at this. Heaven's Gate. It's been a while since we've been back there. Oh, they've got the right kits as well. That's good to see that that has uh, been updated. What an amazing stadium. Master League Story Mode fans will be well aware of this Bristol City crowd. They're a, uh, they're a noisy bunch. And uh, I'm sure they'll be uh, screaming for Bristol City today. And with this home support, it's going to be a difficult game. There's no doubt about that. Let's hope we see Harrison in the second half. So that's half time here at Ashton Gate, and it's been a disappointing game from both sides. Uh, Bristol City have had the shots, United have had the possession, been able to do nothing with it. I think they need a dose of Jack Harrison, and uh, as seem to be the rules, should get a chance here. Uh, yeah, Harrison's on, and it looks like it is attacking midfield for him. Oh, Harrison wins it back from Matthews, the Welshman. And now Harrison will drive into the box. He's only got Martial to aim for, and he finds him at the near post. Difficult header there for the Frenchman. It's laid into Harrison, and he'll find the ball back out to Mikatarian. Now Harrison puts his way into the box. Oh, lovely bit of skill there to find the space. Can he get the cross in? No, he's run it too far, and he's run it into touch. Lovely burst of speed there to beat the man, but didn't quite have the uh, composure to finish it off. Lovely bit of play in the centre as Harrison wins it back. No, he's tackled, though. Just as we were looking for the run of Ibrahimovic. Oh, Harrison gets his body ahead of the man. He's into a shooting position. Harrison hits it. And what a goal that is. Lovely, lovely goal from Jack Harrison. Finally a goal in the league. Not sure how many we've scored in the league. We scored in both Champions League games in this episode. But that was a beauty. Absolute firecracker from outside of the box. Finally using that long range ability to good use. But uh, you've got to appreciate that. Oh, the hustle to win that back. And then with players closing him down, he's absolutely wellied that one. And uh, we're ahead here. Hopefully a big three points in the league incoming. Good passing here from Bristol City as Reed will look to put a ball into the box. He does manage to. The centre-back's got ahead of his man, Fellaini. Not a very convincing clearance there. Didn't want that over the top, but Harrison... Oh, couldn't quite get the ball into Ibrahimovic. Oh, it's fallen now to Harrison. Somehow he's still got it. And he turns away from O'Neill. Oh, lovely footwork to slip it into Ibrahimovic. Finds the ball back round the corner into Harrison. Strong play back inside. Oh, Burnett just does enough. Can't believe we didn't manage to finish that one off. Last chance here for Bristol as Burnett goes inside to Reed. Nice ball into the centre forward, whose name I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce, but he's still got it. Ball inside looking for Reed. Still not cleared. Garetta edge of the box shoots. And that is out for a corner. Shit. Shit, and Harrison's on far post duty. This never ends well. Stay on the line. Stay on the line. Fellaini can't get there. It falls. No, you're fucking kidding me. And we moved. And we moved off the line. And that's all our fault. No. Would we have saved that? Prob mate, probably not. Probably not. No, I don't believe this. Very last second of the game. Ah, no. No, no, no. No. Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, Harrison should have had the winner. I mean, would he, if he had stayed on the line, would he have cleared it? I don't know. I don't know how we've lost that. That three points that we massively needed. Harrison gets a seven, but it's irrelevant. I'm absolutely gutted there. How did we not hang on to that one? And there we are. Six points off City. It's done. The dream's over. <laughs> so angry. So angry. <laughs> damn, 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 damn. Well... Well, well, well. FA Cup semi-final in the next episode. That's going to be exciting at least. Um, we're only on the bench. Still only on the bench. What does a 7 overall... What does a 7 rating get us in terms of manager approval rating? Let's see. Has that gone up at all? I think it went up 2 maybe there. Maybe even 1 still. Let's go look at the schedule. See if we've still got City to play. We've got Dortmund. Two legs against Dortmund, Newcastle, City we do still have to play. That's good at least. 
we're still battling, but six points off. I mean, we need to get within three, don't we? I mean, that's the aim in the next few games. Well, what a horrible end to that episode. I can't believe it. Let me know in the comments whether you think Jack would have saved that if he'd stayed on the line. And I'll see you in a bit.